just like me. You are a YouTube legend. Uh, uh. What is up everyone? It is yet another crisp morning in the Drakensberg. And um, today we are heading home. Yeah, the plan is to do some low level flying to uh, Aero Farm. Um, where we're going to refuel and then um, yeah from there we're going to head straight back to my home airfield we wanted to go check in with some people at lady smith airport but looks like there's some weather coming in so we'll actually be racing the weather back home yeah we'd really like to be on the ground before that weather up north um, coming in from the east gets in so um yeah i'm sure it's going to be a fun flight okay so that is indeed icing on the wing but it will melt off by the time we're ready to take off all right guys we're about to head out uh we're gonna do the same type of takeoff as yesterday we're gonna take a running start to use every inch of this runway that we can we're gonna do a full flap takeoff get the wheels up as soon as possible and then stay in ground effect pick up speed and then i will just drop a little bit of flap and then we'll start climbing out we'll uh, try to um, aim for best rate of climb which is 70 miles per hour um, if necessary we can drop down to best angle of climb which is 65 miles per hour if we need that angle. Second peak traffic in here, Juliet Charlie now lining up and immediately rolling runway 06, uh, right and out initially, then heading Harry Smith, India Juliet Charlie. Pick up speed, pick up speed, and uh, taking off, taking ground effect, drop a better flap, but hey, nice flight speed. No problem, 500 feet per minute. 244, landing out of major pressures and temperatures in the green. Dragon Peak traffic in Yajila Charlie now airborne and uh, turning northbound heading Harry Smith uh, currently 4,500 climbing 6,500 in Yajila Charlie And we're doing a nice cruise climb 75 miles per hour and still climbing 300 feet per minute Definitely this cold thick air is making the engine and the wings perform really well Let's see what the temperature is now, 7 100 miles per hour, cruise air speed, ground speed 80. So 20 miles per hour headwind. Here we go. Whoa. Or Feel it set. It lies here in property. Level traffic, Starkfontein Dam area in Yajula Charlie is a push baby. 15 miles to the east of Starkfontein Dam, 6,500 feet, routing to Harry uh, Smith in Yajula Charlie. Honestly, you put them in fire, Hunting Green, getting it all out of my words. Ah! Okay, we're just heading out of Harry Smith Airport, we're going to head to Aerofarm traffic 
Making your Julia Charlie, the bridge baby, three miles to the south of the field, 6,800 feet will be joining our way and coming in for full stop landing. Traffic in Yajile Charlie, final standing, final approach, runway 36, boost of landing. This is my. Better for hump. Just land off the arm. Oh, made it. Now to refuel. Morning. Well, we spent two days at uh, Dragon Peak in the drop-in field. Nice to there? meet you. Man. What does she cruise at? Uh, about true airspeed, 100 miles an hour. Okay, that's, that's not bad, yeah. Pretty From traffic in Yajula, Charlie, lining up for takeoff runway 36, uh, maintaining runway heading northbound, uh, climbing 6500, routing runway Park Airfield. Traffic at Aerosmith, we are inbound from the north, routing Aero Park, and we still got 10 nautical miles to go. Aero Farm, humble apologies. Uh, last caller, what is your altitude? Currently 6700 kmh1032. Okay, thank you. We'll keep a lookout. To airfield, are you going out? Taking off from Aerofarm, routing north towards Rhino Park Airfield. Copy, is there still fuel at Aerofarm? Affirm. Jill and Charlie's bush baby, four miles to the north of Aero Farm Airfield, 6400, coming to 6500, routing northbound to Rhino Park Airfield. Jill and Charlie. You passed us already off at Altania, Bosbrook, we're coming up approximately three nautical miles. We'll keep a lookout anyway. I've actually have got you inside on your um, 11 o'clock uh, about same time. Visual. I'm passing you now on your left. No conflict. You are the YouTube legend. I wouldn't say legend, but I do try. <laughs> I watch them. Thanks so much. Doesn't look like this cloud is going to bother us. We are at our altitude. We're supposed to fly anyway, and probably still. I don't know. Thousand feet. Maybe a bit less above us. Okay, so the place we just landed for fuel is called Aero Farm and it's just literally across the road from Harry Smith Airfield and it is really a, a very nice place, very friendly people, 
Um, they field the bars, they even offered us coffee. They've got a very nice clubhouse there. Um, unfortunately, we were in a bit of a hurry, so we couldn't stay. But uh, they definitely, people who love aviation, uh, true aviators, so I really recommend to go and really pass there, go land there, fuel up, um, check out that clubhouse. It's a really nice place. Okay, so we are progressing relatively slowly. Um, we've got again a 15 miles per hour headwind. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be another hour and 15 minutes before we are there. But yeah, it actually is, this flight is a little bit more fun than it was there. Um, maybe it's because we're flying low level. Okay, so we've just landed at Heidelberg, um, which is a bit of a diversion. Just to stretch legs and, and pee again. Um, the wind is quite strong. But uh, yeah, we will get going in the next 10 minutes or so for the final leg back to Rhino Park Airfield. Charlie's a bush maybe two miles north of Heidelberg, 5,600 climbing speed, 6,500 feet, routing Rhino Park Airfield, India, Julia Charlie. I must say, this last leg was a lot of active piloting. Very gusty, very turbulent, very windy. Fox traffic in the Julia Charlie over here at the field 6100 feet. We'll be descending on the northern side of the field and join a uh, right hand downwind for runway 11 on the gravel. Okay guys, we are finally home. This last leg was a long one. Again, we had 15 to 20 miles per hour headwinds the whole time, so no, I just uh, made it a little bit longer trip. But it was a fun flight. Uh, we did most of it low level, so I, I really actually enjoyed it a lot. This last leg was just very bumpy. Um, but yeah, it was an awesome trip. Um, really, we, we had a great time. Really recommend Dragon Peaks. Awesome place to go. Thank you so much for watching um, this three-part video series and give me a thumbs up, a like if you did like it and see you in the next one.